Okay, so, first off, hello, Pagan Perspective, and secondly, I'm sorry that I'm in a robe, but I planned on getting all dressed up and fancy for this video, and then all this stupid crap happened, and hurry up! I just, yeah, I just did that, and I just really dislike stress but anyway okay <laughs> so I will stay on topic now priestliness priestlyhood um priesty peoples priesties uh a cleric clergy plus two to saving throws and healing um a leather tunic leather belt and a mace. Um, what do we think? Actually, let me pull it up on the screen so I can be extra cool and spectacular. I thought I already had this up on the screen. First, do any of you use the term priest and priestess within your respective past? Whenever you ask this, I'm assuming that you mean, do I use it in my own spiritual practice? Uh, and anybody who I feel like would who would use that term would either be a priest or a priestess themselves who practices alone, or somebody who practices in a coven. Because somebody who practices in a coven that is run by a priest or a priest is obviously going to use these terms when talking about their own spirituality because they are in a coven so they their spirituality is also with these people. Um, I used to be in a coven. I was in a coven for a little bit. That was my Facebook, not yours. Um, uh, I was in a coven for a little bit. And, th a little bit. And I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed the workshops. I enjoyed going out and camping. I enjoyed all those things. Um, the only issue was the high priestess actually and I'm obviously not going to say any names uh, began to get a little I don't know power hungry it seemed uh, there was beginning to become different like hierarchies in the coven and while priestiness and priesthood is a hierarchy kind of in themselves I think in Wicca and Paganism, especially those two things, uh, we always really try to keep priests and priestesses at the same level as the rest of the coven. Yes, they are leaders, and yes, they are teachers, but we try to keep them at the same, you know, everybody's equal, everybody has an equal part in the coven, blah, blah, blah. There's some, there's some covens who are more strict with this, some who are more loose. It really just depends on who you work with, and being a good high priest or high priestess is almost like being a good teacher or a professor and in my opinion a good teacher or professor is somebody who is a student themselves and they continuously think about this they continuously think that they are a student and they don't get caught in what i call the guru trap of thinking oh i'm better than everybody else I'm above all you people because I'm the high priest or I'm the high priestess. And what I say goes, and I'm better at ritual than you, I'm better at magic than you are, I know more about you, and all this other stuff. So, while some of those things might be true, you don't want a high priest or high priestess who is condescending towards their coven members. So, the second part of this question is how do you see pagan priesthood and clergy developing given the plethora of paths and traditions out there please explain any terms and roles you might feel defined as priesthood so how I see it progressing is honestly in my opinion um, I have like in my experience from what I have asked people and talked to people and all this other thing it kind of seems like people are getting a lot more picky with who they allow to be high priests and high priestesses and honestly I feel like that's a little bit of a good thing because you don't want somebody up there who is going to be corrupt and power pretty much corrupts 
just about anyone. So it takes a really special somebody to be a priest or a priestess and be an effective priest or high priestess. And a high priest or high priestess's job, I feel, in a coven is to be a teacher. It's to be the leader of the group. It's to organize things. It's to keep the group meetings. It's to host them. It's to lead the ritual. Um, it's to keep it's to keep things organized. But it's also somebody who is, like I said, a teacher. It's somebody who has gone through the degrees. They have earned the right to call themselves a priest or priestess. It's not just somebody who's like, I'm a priest. I'm a priest, y'all. I'm a priestess. So, or at least I would hope not. I have actually run across a few people who call themselves priests or priestesses and they just, you know, picked up a book about paganism and Wicca, like, today. And so, there are some of those people out there. But as for what I think about the title, is I kind of feel like the title might actually sometime begin to change. Because just from what I've seen from other people, they aren't really enjoying high priests and high priestesses, it seems like. Personally, I have no issue with it as long as it's, like I said, somebody who is a very good high priest or high priestess, which is very extremely hard to come by. But if they are a good high priest or high priestess, I would have no problem with being in their coven. But for right now, I'm a solitary witch, I'm a solitary pagan, I'm a solitary Wiccan, whatever. Um, I feel like in covens, Eventually the term is going to start fading into something maybe like teacher or sage or leader even. Something that isn't so condescending. And while I personally don't feel like the terms are condescending, I feel like the vast majority of people do. So I feel like the terms might eventually change. and But they might not. They might just, you know, stick to tradition so much that we always call them high priests or high priestesses. But yeah, um... That's my view. Um, I'm really, I'm really weird. I'm kind of in a hyper mood because I really hate stressful things, <laughs> but it makes you hyper. So anyway, I'll go. Okay, bye.